Hey guys, so today I'm going on my first business trip and I wanted to bring you guys along because if you're like me, this is going to be a completely new experience because, well, I've never done it before. I'm going to Miami, also first time to Miami, so it's going to be pretty exciting stuff. Start the day off, it is 6.12 a.m. and I am making waffles. guys the cheap man's guide to a great breakfast got me some waffles some yogurt orange juice a spoon for the yogurt good stuff all right so I just got out of the shower and just wanted to show you guys what essentially I'm bringing on the business trip so first what I'm wearing today got my navy blue pants my shiny green socks a gingham shirt Nice brown leather shoes, matching belt, always the same color. And then tie, and then I have a tie bar somewhere in there. Right there, found it. Tie bar. And then essentially, what I have for each day, I'm only gonna be there for the entirety of today and then one night. So I brought, and then I have one night and then I'm coming back tomorrow night. Um, so I have another dress shirt. I'm gonna keep using the same pants, same shoes, same belt, all of it. Underwear, undershirts, backup undershirt, and then stuff to sleep in. And then I have jeans and a polo in case I end up going out one night that doesn't necessarily require business attire. The best thing to do for these business trips, from what I've learned is to just, from what I've been told, is to just pack as light as possible and reuse. Um, and so that's what I did. And then I have my toothbrush, my deodorant and chapstick, and my hair product of choice at the moment. Um, and just shout out for any of you parents or grandparents out there. Your kids may not like it, but getting some kind of luggage set, I have a matching Hartman luggage set. It all kind of looks like this, same color, everything. Um, is the one of the best presents that you could ever get. And then in here I have electronic stuff, um, laptop battery, iPhone charger. In here I have my laptop. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get dressed, do my hair, and head out. All right, so it's about seven o'clock. That's exactly when I wanted to leave, so that ended up being good. I was actually afraid at the last like five minutes that I was gonna end up being late. Um, my flight doesn't leave till like nine, but I heard that you should get to the airport with ample amount of time in case of like security and stuff. So we'll see where that goes. I live really close to the airport in Jacksonville, so it's kind of fine. Um, all right. All right, so I'm about to go through security. I'm gonna see if I can leave my camera on for as long as I can. See what happens. Okay, I have finished security and unfortunately the video cut out because I uh, ran out of space so I needed to move some of the videos to my laptop. I went through security though, here's proof. So now I'm gonna go find my terminal. Um, one of my coworkers is actually gonna get me coffee. So that's awesome. Um, we'll see if I find any of them soon. All right, guys, we have made it on the plane. This is my friend, Megan. Hi, guys. She's the other intern. Right now, we only have two interns. And, and we're, we're the best. Yeah, we're obviously the best. Um, and so we're about to hit, uh, take off to Miami. They're doing like the final checks and stuff. I brought my, my book that I probably won't read because I'm probably just going to turn on my laptop and edit the videos. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm running out of space. Um, so I'll check back when we land. So we have landed in Miami. It took us 15 minutes to even get to the baggage and we are apparently not there yet. We had to ask for directions and I shit you not, it smells like baby poops. Really bad. <laughs> We're finally there too. Yeah, and so we think it's, it's 
them. <laughs> it's us. No, it's not you. <laughs> no, no. This is this is Lauren and Laura. They're gonna be driving us to where we need. They're actually our chauffeurs. So you have Uber drivers? Yeah, Uber drivers. <laughs> So we had to walk from one side of the airport to get the luggage and then so long. and then all the way back and we're still not even there <laughs> to get our rental car and the people movers are broken so we don't even get moving sidewalks and, and there's no AC I, and so we're just dying of heat like several moving sidewalks, uh, two trains. We finally got in the car, um, literally an hour from landing to getting into the car. And we're trying to figure out our way around Miami to get food. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's some people I have to. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I've literally never heard of like 95% of these places. Yeah. So we just got the, to the hotel. Um, we went actually straight to the center to give the presentation. Um, right after we got some lunch, we got some Cuban food. It was, I got um, pork, rice, beans. It was pretty good, but I mean, I'm Hispanic, so I get that basically every day of my life. Um, and so it's pretty awesome here, actually. Like, I'm on the 16th floor, which from what I understand is the highest um, room so I'm basically having a penthouse right now it's kind of awesome um, this is what the room looks like I have two beds I'm not using two beds TV where I'm gonna be editing my video um, yeah and so at 6 I'm actually meeting and we're gonna go get Greek food at this place called Opa it's supposed to be super awesome um, Greek food is actually some of my favorite um, ever since I went to Greece like three years ago I think it was um, but yeah I'm super excited I'm gonna get changed you can already see I took off my tie because it was getting really annoying wearing a tie for that long so took it off I'm gonna be changing into something um, more casual jeans just something more comfortable because um, we're gonna be walking around and it's still blazingly hot even though we're like by the beach it's Miami of course it's hot um, and so yeah see you guys in a bit okay so I just got back to my room um, after a crazy night of Greek food, um, virgin drinks, and um, playing billiards. Um, so basically, after after I was done, um, after I changed, we went out to this place called Opa. Um, it's this Greek restaurant, um, and one of the appetizers we got was um, hummus. And so they bring out like this little wooden cup with like olive oil, herbs, and chickpeas, and you have to mash it yourself. Um, and my one of my coworkers was actually actually got this clip of me of me mashing the chickpeas. Um, and here it is right now. God, it's like it's like a like, you know, like, like, What does it sound like? I'm not gonna say that out loud. What does it sound like? Tell, I'm recording. Tell all your videos. No. <laughs> Bloggers. What does it sound now like? Now you have it on my hand. Shit. Shut up. <laughs> you gotta keep it in the cup. Oh god, it's oh my god, it's stuck. <laughs> it sounds like chickpea <laughs> and olive oil. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So is this your first time mashing chickpeas? Yeah. <laughs> actually, no, good. it's not. Actually, no, it's not. This is this your first time doing a mashing? fantastic job. Thanks. What? <laughs> I didn't even hear it. Oh, God. <laughs> is this your first time smashing? I think this I'm... is going to get edited out. <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to keep it all. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm going to, like, obviously shorten it because this is just me mashing chickpeas. Smashing. Smashing, smashing chickpeas. Smashing. For, like... 
a solid two minutes. Smashing chips. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be a smashing chips. Okay, now, there we go. Faster. Gotta go faster. <laughs> faster. faster. <laughs> you wanna go faster? Please do. Yes, please. Did you see what I just said? <laughs> That's it. So much I'm food. So, fun times at the Greek restaurant. Um, and then after that, we, uh, we just kind of went back to the bar at the hotel. Um, some of you may not know this, but I'm, I'm 19, um, so I'm underage. And so I, I had a water, and then I had a virgin pina colada. And it was awesome. It was delicious. So I couldn't even, ask, couldn't even have asked for more. And then I played pool, and I sucked. I sucked so bad. I haven't played pool in maybe six, six years, I think, six years. Um, and I just, I got my ass handed to me. It was brutal. Um, and so, and then after that, we just kind of, we hung out, we talked, it was a fun time. Um, honestly, it was a surprisingly fun time. I wasn't expecting to have um, as much fun as I did, just kind of like talking to people. Um, met some new guys we came we became friends with the bartender so that was those it was just a fun time um so now back in the room um getting ready for bed gotta wake up um probably edit a bit before i um go back to the pace center um having a job fair tomorrow so that's gonna be pretty exciting oh god and then i don't get home till like 11 p.m and then right back up in the next day. So, um, see you tomorrow. So, I just woke up, and I didn't necessarily oversleep. Um, I woke up at, it's nine, um, but I wanted to wake up a bit earlier, but these blinds, they're magic. They cover so much light. I legitimately thought that it was like 7.30 a.m. And then I looked at my phone and it was nine. I hope that breakfast is still there because I'm not sure if it was ending at nine or if it ended at 10. So I'm about to, I'm actually I'm literally leaving the room right now barefoot because I want food. breakfast um, now I'm just gonna chill out um, maybe do some editing watch some videos some TV before I have to get ready for um, the day ahead okay I'm about to leave the hotel head back to the center um, and help out with the job there I did an awesome job packing because I'm able to wear the same outfit just with a different shirt and no one's gonna know. So we're back at the center to help out with the job fair. But before anything, we got Popeyes. Woo! Back at the airport, we're walking to our terminal. We just finished eating TGI Fridays. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. 
I literally almost ran into someone and I have allergies, so. <sighs> we are finally on the flight. I'm tired and I am ready to go home. I'm in the airport and now I'm on my way to the car. And I'm home. Oh, ow.